the correct way to manifest money. See, money has its own vibration. That's what I want to talk to you today about. So I decided to do a, you know, a video, a regular video today. So uh, just feeling the spirit. So I'm gonna. That's what we're gonna touch on today. So we're gonna talk about money, money, money. So money is a tool that we use, right? So everybody loves money. Why? Because money can make us happy. Money can create the life we desire. Money can bring peace and happiness to our lives. Or so we think. Now, if you want to create money in your life, here's how to do it, okay? You have to know the fundamental laws of how reality works. First of all, what we're seeing right now with our eyes, we're seeing a speck of the true reality. We're seeing maybe 1%, and the other reality is infinite. In other words, true reality exists uh, existentially away from this reality. So that's the first thing you gotta get in, to understand. You gotta get that in your mindset. Okay, so what does he mean by, you know, what does that have to do with money? Well, it has everything to do with money because if you're tuned into this speck of reality, you're missing the infinite opportunities that you can tap into this electromagnetic uh, frequency to attract money using your mind. So here's how it works. Just like anything else, money is energy. I know I keep saying it, everybody keeps saying it, but how is it energy? Well, quantum physics, we know now how everything works. Matter, subatomic particles, are basically our eyes project holographic projections and we see things as physical things. So what you have to keep in mind, to manifest correct money the correct way, you have to understand that it's already there in an unformed probability of existence. That's right, all the money you ever desire is there right now in an unformed probability of existence. What does he mean, unformed probability of existence? In layman terms, all the money you desire, you can attract it into your life right now, and you don't have to figure out how to do it. Why? Because you can use your other part of your mind, which is your subconscious. So here's how you do it. So if you want money to come into your life, number one, if you're feeling desperate, if you're feeling needy, or if you're constantly thinking about money or the lack of it, you're not attracting it, you're repelling it. So the first step we have to do, we have to reprogram now, you have to focus on having money. Look, there's only two ways this works. You either think you have money or you think you don't. That's the two states your mind is operating in. Remember that. You either think you are, you can have money or you think you don't. What do I mean by you think you don't? It means that you're focusing on the lack of money. I gotta pay the bills, this is coming in, all that. And your mind tells you that by thinking or focusing on the problem, you can solve the issue of money. Nope, that's backwards. So number one, stop thinking and focusing on the bills. What do you start to do? Focus on what you'd like to see come in your life, which is what? More money. So to, to attract or manifest more money, you have to constantly put your mind on what it would be like to have money. You can visualize it, you can intentionalize it. And what I mean by intention is just making a decision in your mind saying, hey, I'm ready to have more money. I'm ready for more abundance. And then you start to look ahead in the mind of what it would mean to have these things. Okay, what would it look like for me to have money to pay all my bills? What would my life look like without any uh, bills to pay? What else? What does money do for you? It buys you time, right? That's a trick to manifest money. Start looking at the time you would have because what we do, we trade time for money here. We've been programmed that way. So if you start to look at your life in the free time, universe automatically knows that in order for you to have the free time what do you have to have the money so look at the time and what the what the you know the time and when you have the free time then the money can come now this sounds simple or it sounds some individuals may sound out of the ordinary but there is real laws of scientific processes going on here because what's be happening behind the scenes is things that we aren't tuned into because remember we only see what one visible form of that electromagnetic spectrum right so what you have to do now is to focus on the outcome all right so what happens when you start to do that well what happens is once you start to focus on manifesting the money you're drawing the energy now to of money towards you so who has the money oh people have money right businesses have money so how are you gonna get the money 
from people, businesses, and such things, right? Just like you and I, they have the money. So who's gonna make you attract the money? Well, it's all your subconscious mind now. Because despite what you think or what you believe, your subconscious mind will only attract to you what you put your attention on. Let me repeat that again. Despite what you think or believe, your subconscious mind will only attract to you what you put your attention on. So if I put my attention on having more finances in my life, such as I am visualizing, I'm thinking about it, I'm feeling good knowing it's coming, I'm watching programs that shows me that I have the finances, I'm affirming that I have the finances, my subconscious mind now will interact with the field and people. They will start to gravitate towards you and you will start to receive the money. See that? That's the laws of physics. That's the laws of the universe. When you try to need something, you push it away. When you try to focus on the problem to fix it, you're actually attracting it. Let's go back. Your subconscious mind only attracts to you what you put your attention on. So if you're putting your attention on, I don't have money, I need money, how can I pay my bills, I gotta figure a way how to fix this so I can get more money. Even though logically, your mind is telling you this is the way to do it. Your mind is lying to you. It doesn't work that way with your conscious mind. Even though your mind is trying to fix it, you're attracting it because we attract based to our subconscious. Your attention to something. So why don't you use your intellect mind and stop focusing on why you don't have the money, why isn't the money coming, and start to focus on what would it look like to have the money, how would it make me feel to have the money, why don't you visualize the money, why don't you start to become in the present moment, become happy and contented, and I guarantee you money will start to come to you. How, do you, how does this work? Well, because once you start to do this, you shift your vibration away from the lack and you activate the most powerful part of your consciousness, which is your higher self. You automatically start to attract the people, the circumstances, and events to help you to have money. Because in reality, money is just like everything else. It's just energy, and it attracts, and it repels. So you want to be in the attractor factor to receive money or finance. So my rule of thumb is this. Number one, every day, Focus your mind on what your life would look like with some money. Number two, keep your intentions on having the money. Intention basically just make a decision that says, hey man, I'm ready to live a life of abundance. I'm tired of living a life of struggle and lack. Just make an make a intention and just say, hey, I'm ready to experience some financial abundance. That's all you have to do because once you do that, that's where your subconscious mind is going right now. Your attention is towards that. And the law states that wherever you put your attention, it must come in. That's basically how the universe is set up, guys. It's set up in two formats. You either, you either focus on what you want, you receive it. Focus on what you don't want, you receive it. The trick here is your mind or your intellect mind, because of our program, we were taught to focus on fixing something to receive it. Breaking news doesn't work. That's why it hasn't worked does not work that's impossible if you think about it your mind is focusing on the problem to solve the problem where's your attention on the problem so you're going to attract more of the problem your subconscious mind does not know the difference or intellect you can't think like your mind and says this is what i'd want or don't want it just goes where your attention is so the secret again put your mind on having the finances in your personal life, what does it represent for you to have money? Is it freedom? Is it less stress? Is it happiness? Is it relaxation? Your subconscious knows these things. So you focus your intent on that. Boom! You will start to attract money into your life. That's the secret.